Looking at Lucky's four-year-old antlers now in late August, it's hard to imagine that what's 24 inches long now actually started as nothing back in February when he dropped his antlers from last year. That hardened antler falls off as testosterone levels drop in late winter. And once that happens, you basically have this uh, wound. Think of the, the, the base, the pedicle, which is here, the very base of the antler. That pedicle becomes an open wound and it bleeds. And that blood pools at the top of the pedicle. And over uh, about a week's period, it starts to uh, coagulate and, and develop into a scab. And that scab will be present after two or three weeks. And once that scab completely covers this uh, wound, the new antler starts to grow. So uh, he loses his antlers in, in say, mid-February. Uh, it's a pretty typical date. And uh, by mid-March, the scab will be completely uh, grown over and they'll, the edge of the scab will start growing towards the center of the scab. And it's basically the antler producing cells at the base of the pedicle uh, start growing underneath uh, the scab and kind of basically removing it, cut, popping it off. Kind of like when you cut yourself or scrape yourself, you get a big scab initially and then that scab gets smaller and smaller over time as your skin regenerates underneath the scab. Well, same thing happens here with, with this antler growth process.